hello viewers welcome back to the CMD course and this is the video 2 and in this video as you can read here we're going to deal with the basic file commands how to make folder operations how to create folder and how to copy files how to move files and how to delete files and the folder in the command prompt so let's go back to the desktop environment and let's open the command prompt to further show you the operations and the steps now here I have this Windows 10 desktop machine and here in type here to search I'm gonna type CMD to show you these commands and their functions and if you even feeling any confusion any disturbance during this video so you can comment below and ask whatever the problem you're facing by in the learning of this command so here once you open the command prompt in your Windows 10 you will find that it shows the administrator prompt sometimes it came with the system 32 that depend if you open your command prompt as the administrator privilege let me show you it is a little advanced thing but you need to know at this level if you right click on the command prompt you will find this run as administrator so this command prompt that you opens on the administrator privilege have some other powers you could say have some other privileges to run things to execute files but here as for this lab we're going to just focus on the copy delete CD those basic command that can easily be executable on any level any privilege of the command prompt so as you can see that the whole tree of the directory is the originated directory is the C where you have the, your operating system then you have user folder and in the user folder you have administrator folder so this is the tree of directory let's say if you wanna go to the user directory right if you wanna change your current directory and you wanna go to directly to the user not to the parent directory so the command you're going to use is cd double dot and if you press enter so you can see that you just directly jump to your user directory let's say if you are in the user directory and you want to see the content that both sort of file and folder are there in the user so type dir and you will see the contents the folders the files you have in your user directory so here you can see you have admin definitely this is the admin account the administrator this is another admin account a new pod is code field G's field these all are what the user account this is the same folder that we access in a GUI way let me show you if you are getting confused if you go to this PC and go to the C drive and there's a user and here you can see the list of directories the folders that are actually the account folder they contain all the data all the activity does in the account like the pictures videos let's say if I open the a new port so you will see the content like the desktop documents download so whatever the user is doing like you know downloading files making documents or just downloading music or making pictures so you can access all such contents from your administrator account from your C drive so this is that specific user folder that we are dealing right now in the CMD so so here what you're gonna do so if you want to go to any of the directory here listed so what you're gonna do is just type CD space admin and press enter so you are in this admin directory so which command is used to go in any directory to open any folder CD space and that specific folder name and let's say if you want to go back to your parent directory which is the C here so you're gonna type CD backslash enter so it gonna took you directly to your parent directory which is the C so have you got this idea that if you want to jump directly to your parent directory so you should use CD backslash 
so it is simple so let's say if I want to see the contents of the C drive so what command I'm gonna use is dir directory right so here we have preferred logs program files users windows there are four three or four folders here right so let's say if I want to go back to the user so which command I'm gonna use CD users right then if I want to go to the administrator account so what I'm gonna type administrator admin this trader enter now you are on the administrator account so if I want to check the directories the subdirectories of the administrator so I'm gonna find these so right now I want to go to the desktop to do some other stuff CD desktop so here you can see I am in this desktop directory this is the same desktop you are seeing here behind the CMD application so let's say if you want to make any new folder in the desktop so which command you're going to use mkdir and that specific name let's say I'm going to type JSS enter so there's a folder JSS is being created at the back of your screen means on the desktop folder let's look at here right so if I want to go to that folder so which command I'm gonna use CD JSS enter so there you go I am and I'm in the directory I'm in the JSS so so it's simple now let's say if I want to change the name of that folder and as you can see if I want to go back one step back to that directory what I did CD double dot that means it will take me one step back directory to the JSS so if I want to change the name of this folder so what I'm gonna type is REN space JSS which is the previous name and type PLEPS enter so there you go the file name the folder name is totally changed with the execution of enter so that's how the command prompt work that's how the command line works so let's say if I want to create a new file in this JSS in this PLAB so what I'm gonna do is type CD space PLABS because the file name is changed now and let's get in the directory now here what I'm gonna type type space null greater than sign space type the file name and this would be JSS dot pptx enter so it's gonna create this file and if you want to check just type dir and there you go this is the file you recently created so let's say if you want to change the file name so you will use the command run rem rename space JSS dot pptx space and you could name it as plab dot pptx enter so there you go the file name is changed and if you type dir so you can easily view that file here that the plab dot pptx so this is the change happen once you execute this rename command now let me show you how to copy the file how to delete and how to move the file so if I want to go back one step back to that directory I want to make another folder so which command I'm going to use mkdir space JSS now you will see another folder on your desktop and why I created this folder to copy and move the file from plabs to JSS all right so to copy the file from any folder you must go to the CD plabs this is the folder that contain the file and the command I'm gonna use copy space plab dot pptx space and the destinated folder 
So you can see the fun file is copied. That's the process to copy any file from any location. Now let me show you how to delete the file. So first I will go to the DIR to check the file existence. Yes, there is. One file is the PLAB and another file is JSS. We have two files here. So what I'm gonna do is simply delete the file type del space PLAB dot pptx enter and there you go the file is successfully deleted now if I type dir to see so there's only JSS folder here and there's no any other file located here so here there's nothing no any file so let me create the file first type space null greater than space plab dot pptx enter so there you go the file is created now it's time to move the file because we show you how to copy how to delete and now it's time to learn how to move the file from one folder from one directory to another now there's the file and I'm gonna type move space plab dot pptx all right pptx space and now here I'm gonna type the new folder name plabs enter now the one file is move now here in the last let's cover the last command and that the command is used to remove the directory and the folder and the command is rm if you wanna delete any directory you should type rm dir space JSS and it will quickly delete the directory but before that you need to clean that directory so let's go to that directory CD JSS and type dir to check the content and here you have plabs file so let's start type del space plabs enter now the directory is deleted it's not the file it's the directory and then it's time to delete the JSS so CD and then type rmdir space JSS enter and now it's gonna totally clean totally delete that directory from your desktop so these are the all basic commands that we want to cover in this video and if you have any issue while learning the commands while watching the video so you can mention in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon thanks for watching